Hey everyone, it's Comedian Master or Gamer, and today we're back with more of the Battlefield Hotline episode campaign. So now we're rolling on to episode 10, Legacy, which I figured out how to spell that word. It's not Legacy, it's Legacy. Alright. So really, I have no idea if this is going to be the last episode of um, this game, of the campaign, okay? So when I play this, it will, like, tell me and show me of all the things that if it's really the ending all right and also you should have all know uh, i mean to remember what i said about that information below the episode title all right so you've got you should have known that by now what i said in the previous episode we did was independence day so yeah i'm not gonna um uh, actually i'll give you a hint it's death all right that's your first hint to remember, alright? For those of you who can't remember. Alright then, so, um... Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this, because this is going to... I think this is going to be a very lot harder than the other episodes. I tell you. But, with that being said, I think we should get over with this, so... Off we go. Uh, because some last episodes always like expectations. But Dawes knows he's marked for death, but that didn't stop him from divulging his location. The real question is why. I think his location wasn't that very safe for hiding from me, which I'm Nicholas Mendoza. Yeah. What I mean expectations is mean that you're an expert of every game that you're happening to be playing on. So every last episode that you do is always hard. If that's what I think in my opinion. Alright. Okay, so the suspects we need to look for is Howard White, Leo Feldman, and Craig Foster. And the case file we only need to find is preferred outcomes. Oh boy. Yeah, I think this is like the, the ending episode, guys. So, anyway, with that being said, let's just get this over with. Three, two, one, go. Previously, I counted down because it's special, I believe. Oh yeah, Stoddard just came in for some absolute reason. We know. Oh god. I get it where they can't find his daughter's money in that um vault. What the hell, an island? Hmm. Okay. In the middle of a sunset, which is absolutely designative. Designative. And also, I can tell I am driving a speedboat because at the end of the last episode, I was telling Boomer to help Kai, and then I had to drive all the way here, which I don't even expect. An American flag up there. Maybe it's a uh, American island. <laughs> what? Yeah, hospitals are painful for Tyson, if that's his opinion. So I think Dawes gone Dawes too far. Worth it. There's no walking away after everything we've done. <sighs> Dawes will hunt us down. Hunt. I really forgot about that word what Dawes has been up to. Besides, I'm an escape fell and wanted in three states. What else am I gonna do? I feel bad for you, Tyson, for getting exploded by the bomb in the vault door. Nice working with him. Is it a goodbye? What? Is there any other way? 
I guess it really is a good buy to them three. Well, there they go. Goodbye, Kai. Um, thanks for being helping with me in every past episodes. Uh, goodbye, Bruma. It was nice meeting you at the beginning of episode 6, where you were locked in the car boot door. And Tyson, get well soon. And thanks for helping us from this far to here. I don't know when the episode that you were first helping us. I think it was episode 5. So, yeah, I don't know about the beginning. I can't remember if if he was really that bad. Alright. So, yeah. With the American flag on this island, it makes me think it's a, like a new game for Battlefield. Battlefield Hotline 2, American Island. <laughs> hey, I've been thinking, guys. Since we haven't seen Doors forever since um, episode 4, Case Closed, which was the ending of that episode. Imagine, if you know about GTA episodes from Liberty City, which is the fourth which has the Lost to Dan and the Ballad of the Gay Tony. Imagine they would do that stories to um this game. I mean, make one of what Dawes has been up to while me and Kai and the others were doing as normal of what we were doing right here. That could be a really good idea. <laughs> like if you agree. Alright, there's guards over there, so... I think I know how to take them down from like this. <coughs> Hey, hey, this. Oh, he's sucking the back of the gun. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I just read this guy's. I rested this guy's normal. Uh, just give me a quick second. I just need to check if it's the correct ammo for um, the second gun I use. I can tell for the pistol. Okay, no, the um, the good this gun here has the up to right ammo. All right. Gentlemen, a status report would be helpful. I made it to hmm? the island, Captain. Is that helpful? Very helpful. Helpful for what? Well, it's nice to know we're on the same frequency. A real reason I meant. How are you, son? For helpful. I'll tell you then. Seriously, I don't know what Dawes has been up to. Just like I said when I was on this island in the beginning, I said of an idea. Alright, if you should know guys said by now. Alright. Okay, we've got to scan some uh oh, some enemies so we wouldn't have to get caught by them because you can tell for the hours to put on. Alright. Oh, suspect. Howard White, okay. Child abuse? Oh, dumbass. Well, it's gonna be hard work to get through these guys to take down to get to that suspect. But if I if I lose, um, I'll just get that suspect during that I'm done with this filming, alright? Alright, off we go. Uh, 